I am like a drunk rat. Oh my God, I'm so wet. All right, we seem to have landed back in Scotland with weather, honestly, the temperature and the rain really, really, really making me feel at home today. You can hear it pattering off the umbrella here in Portland. And I'm doing something that I've actually never, ever done before today. I am driving the United States of America. I'm a wee bit apprehensive about that. What do you mean you've never done it? <laughs> Just told my passenger now. I've never driven here before. I've driven all around the world. I've driven in Brazil. I've driven in Iceland driven across Europe but never in the United States so it's a first for everything right it's happening today in the rain we're going from Portland up to Seattle and we're going to take in some sights along the way said it's the biggest one here oh no it's this one. Oh, that's alright it's still a beast it's still big though look <laughs> it's not actually that bad yeah that's alright look at that just film that one that says Fort that Oregon in the rain that's not the, dri that's not the driver's oh one. <laughs> well this will be an experience the worst thing we decided to get an upgrade for a bigger car the guy sold it to me we've got this massive car hopefully the roads are massive but to get this car park it's not gonna be easy we're on a six floor of a multi-story now how the flip how how on earth do you start this thing uh, show <laughs> Let's see, start engine. Oh, I've got the car started, yes. First little hop from the rental place to the hotel went all right. The streets here in Portland are pretty wide, so that's good. Um, just gonna grab our suitcases here in the hotel and then we're heading off. About lock the car though. Fun times, driving for the first time in America. I love the rain, Sean. <laughs> What do you think of an upgrade ticker? Oh, Loads of space though. <laughs> did she just say we do not need it. <laughs> also, I did another upgrade. I paid for the fuel up in the van advance, which seems uh, economical to me. So far, so good on the drive. Everything was going according to plan, apart from an odd big, big truck. The trucks in America are far bigger than anything that we have in the UK, so that was one thing to navigate, but the rest of it was all fine. Anyway, on this road trip we wanted to do a bit of a detour to start off with, so we headed slightly east towards Multnomah Falls, a place that everyone had recommended that we visit. So that first part of the drive was fine, it's been a really actually stress-free drive. The lanes and the motorways here on the highway are so huge, even though I'm driving a massive car, it's fine. We've decided to stop, well, we needed to stop at one place which everybody recommended to come and see, which is a set of waterfalls called Multanoma. And you can see that right now, oh my god, they're huge. Holy moly, look at the size of them. Wow. Damn it, dippers, kingfisher, trout, sticklebacks, trout, coho. Adult coho, coho salmon. I'm not sure if the camera quite gets across how high these things are. Who says it? You can't actually climb to the top of these falls, but to be honest, I don't think there'd be any benefit from doing so. I think the best view is probably from down looking up and it looks extremely high. Just find out uh, from the gift shop that this is the home of Sasquatch. Wow. These falls are flipping enormous. It's very wet here. This is wet weather is worse than Scotland. Let me put it out there. Worse, actually worse than Scotland.
Now the plan is to make it up onto that bridge up there. No joke, so this place really, really reminds me of home in Scotland. Like everything from the vegetation, probably a bit more green here, to the weather. The temperature is actually pretty cold here, I would say, compared to Scotland at this time of year. Um, but these waterfalls are stunning. We've got a lot of waterfalls in Scotland as well, but these ones are pretty special. We are so high right now. All the way down there where we're standing before, it's way down. <laughs> I don't like heights. That is a very high drop down there. And that there is a very, oh my God, I just got better goes off. <laughs> that there is a very high cliff. It doesn't look like it on camera, it's very high. Listen to me, one and all. We are here at Multonoma Falls. The mountain is green. The water is hard, but deep down inside, we will stand sharp. <laughs> fear of heights, fear of heights, big fear of heights. If you look that way, it's all right. If you look that way, it's not all right. I can handle this side because it's not too high. That side is too high. Oh, the spray's coming off the waterfall and hitting us, look. Oh my God, it gives like a roar, like a lion's roar. Okay. This is as high as I'm going, right here at this viewpoint, and it's right in the face of all that spray coming off the waterfall. Oh my word, what power in these waterfalls. Holy moly. That is something else. I don't know if it comes across the camera, I don't know, but I am like a drooned rat. Oh my God, I'm so wet. My poor phone is filming me right now. Oh, this works, big service. I love that. John is at the top of the, the bridge there and we've come back down to the base. I'm gonna try and take a photo of him for him. From down here, pointing up to the bridge. That could work, that could be cool. There he is. It's Sasquatch himself. Hey buddy. Seafood chowder. Colin Skink. Oh my god, it's going all over. This place at the bottom of the falls was a grand we stopped to get warmed up. Not dry because we're not going to dry for days, I think. Uh, but it's literally the building at the base of the falls. But now we're getting back in the car and heading on north to Seattle. <laughs> Hopefully, the roads stay nice and tranquil. I have been informed that it's customary to stop at this particular place called Burgerville, which I've never heard of in my life, to get in particular a milkshake. So that's exactly what we're doing. That's and a toilet stop. Burgerville. Hello, welcome in. Yes, hello. hello. I love hello. this place already. <laughs> Time to try the Burgerville milkshake. Pretty good. What's your review? Not here. Oh. Oh. 
I'm gonna try the cold brew one. Bro, it's like peanut butter. It's hazelnut. Mm. Hazelnut. 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 Burgerville. So, Burgerville Centralia, that was a good little stop. We are now going to head to Seattle. I don't know how far it is from Seattle, but we're going to Seattle. Having visited the falls and also gave ourselves a bit of a feed at Burgerville, we headed on to Seattle and really there was nothing much else to report. The drive was really pedestrian to be honest with you. The only thing I will say is the weather was very changeable. One minute we had sunshine and good weather and then the next we had pouring rain and everything in between. But it was a pleasant drive taking in the scenery of a part of the world that we'd never been to before. And we were very excited to arrive in Seattle. Well, that was an experience. That is actually a lot easier and better than I thought. The highways here are pretty chilled compared to the UK, I must say. And that was quite a nice experience driving that big massive car. All good. We've arrived in Seattle. I'm going to drop the keys off now. It actually looks really nice here in Seattle already. We've been here five minutes and I already like it. But um, we're pretty tired because it was a long drive. It was much further than I thought. Hello from downtown Seattle. That was a great long drive. Great, great drive. And a lot easier than I expected, to be honest. I did not think it was gonna be that smooth. The roads were pretty good. There were very wide lanes. Um, we had a really nice big car. Um, I was worried about that, especially coming in and out of the cities, but actually, using Google Maps, it was all good. Like, I never had any worries whatsoever. But it was an interesting experience for somebody who's never driven in the United States before. I think it was probably one of the easier United States drive that I will do uh, on this trip. Um, it was fine. Drove from Portland to Seattle. We went the long route because we went up to those waterfalls which were magnificent by the way. Um, and anyway, we're here in Seattle now. We're in downtown staying at the Hyatt Hotel. I'll put the link down below for anybody who might want to stay here, but it is very good. A lovely, lovely big kind of apartment room with a kitchen. Great place and a very good location by all counts downtown. I'm excited to go out exploring. Seattle vlogs will be coming up on this channel in the next couple of episodes after this one. Um, but I did think you guys might be interested in what it's like for a Scottish person like me driving for the first time in the United States. It's not my last drive on this trip. We're hiring cars in California and perhaps Texas as well. But that's it. Thank you very much for watching and following this whole journey. Make sure you check the playlists down below in the description of this video because I will be sharing my playlist of all the trip so far. And you'll want to see all those videos. Uh, and it's going to be good fun. But I'm tired now. We're going to go and get perhaps on something to eat or whatever. Uh, and then crash out. So thanks for watching. And until the next adventure, have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon. Or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. Take care.